Hi, just a quick one from me today. I'm going to be solving this problem from the Oxford University Maths Entrance Test. We want to know which of the following graphs is a sketch of y equals e to the minus x over 2 minus e to the minus x, or x positive. And we've got five options here. So the first thing I like to do is think about the intercepts of this graph. And now I know it says that x has to be positive, but we can just make x tend towards 0 and work out what the y-axis or the y-intercept should be. Um, so when we sub in x is 0, we get y is e to the 0 minus e to the 0, which is 1 minus 1, which is 0. So the graph has to pass through the y-axis at 0. So that eliminates this option and it eliminates this option. So we're left with three possibilities here. Next, what we want to do is perhaps consider the limit as x goes to infinity of this graph. So what's the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the minus x over 2 minus e to the minus x? Well, both of these terms here are going to tend towards 0 because e to the power of a very big negative number will be virtually 0. So this will be 0 minus 0, which is 0. And so therefore, the y values must approach 0 as x tends to infinity. And so that eliminates e because you can see that this one's kind of growing up like that. So it's either a or b. And now in order to distinguish between the two, we can just think about whether the y values are positive or whether they're negative. And maybe you can like just look at this and see. I think I might just plug in an x value here. So if I plug in x is 2 into this, uh, when x is 2, y is equal to e to the negative 1 minus e to the negative 2. And that's the same as 1 over e minus 1 over e squared. And obviously, since e is bigger than 1, e squared is going to be bigger than e. And so if I do 1 over e squared, that's going to be smaller than 1 over e. So this is indeed positive, so it's not b. And the answer is therefore A. And that would be our solution here. So this is a nice little thing to do with mat multiple choice questions. You do not need to derive the answer. They're not asking you to sketch this graph. They're telling you that one of these five is correct and it's your job to identify which. So I think that with lots of these questions, process of elimination can be your best friend, especially under the time pressure of the exam. Anyway, if you have found this video useful, please do give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.